Hi. Um, I'm so I feel so honored to be here today. Um, my name is Benedine Otto. I'm a certified transformational nutrition coach. I'm an EFT practitioner. And I am also an author of my upcoming book, Love Yourself No Matter What. Now, I want to tell you a little bit about myself and my story and how I got started. Um, a few years ago, I'm originally from South Africa. A few years ago, I moved to the States, United States with my husband and my three kids. Um, my husband came here for work. Uh, I was devastated to move away from my family and I was devastated to move away from you know my culture and my people um, when I got here it was quite a shock to me um, my husband traveled a lot and just to get settled in was very difficult to do um, I started to uh, eat uh, emotional eating uh, food was my friend uh, food lifted me up and food made me uh, feel safe so I gained a lot of weight uh, my dad passed away in uh, the first year when we uh, we uh, arrived here um, I was diagnosed with depression as well and I was just in a very very bad place um, in my life um, so one morning I you know in the mornings it was difficult for me to just get up and one morning I struggled to get up to, out of the bed and I got out of the bed and I looked at myself in the mirror and um, I just look at myself and I told myself that you know I am more than what I have become and I deserve more and I started to change my life. So I started to do research on what foods to eat, what foods, healthy foods to, you know, to feed my body. Um, so I started to eat healthy, I started to exercise, and I lost about 45 pounds in two years. Um, I felt great, uh, but when I saw myself in the mirror, I didn't see that person that would be happy because I lost all this weight. Um, I soon realized that I didn't work, you know, on my inner self inside here. Um, and, you know, I was struggling to love myself. And just by looking at myself in the mirror was a task that I did not want to do or I just didn't like, you know, looking at myself in the mirror and um, after all losing all this weight, it's I was still there. I was still not happy with myself. Um, and before I lost all this, all the weight, you know, it were many years I struggled to even say the words, I love you or love yourself or you know you are beautiful um you know and and when i started to work on that and i started to work on my inner self i saw such a transformation you know inside and out now what is self-love um it means taking care of yourself by this i mean taking care of you so that you feel balanced and you feel full and you feel love within yourself Self-love for me is just that feeling, that warm feeling that you get when you look at yourself, you love yourself. Um, when we love ourselves, we are capable of loving others as well. Now, I want to go a little bit into body image as well, because I think self-love is, you know, about body image as well on how we look. Now, as we know, the media um, is the highest influencer on body image, women comparing themselves with other women and images on social media, magazines and online. And, you know, women with a negative body image, um, you know, finds it hard to just get up in the morning, put on nice clothes. It just impacts their everyday life. And many women also you know avoid we wearing a variety of clothing and they use clothing to hide their bodies 
um, so many women also struggle to, you know, to do activities outside to, to, you know, especially in the summer, go to the pool, go somewhere. Women just feel like, you know, they do not deserve, they're not worthy to put on that nice dress and go out and have a good time. So um, today I want really, you know, I want to talk about body image and you know I always tell my clients that if you you know you put on a dress and face that fears and start loving your body while working towards the body you want and just embrace your body embrace your body as where you are now um, you know and take small steps every day to start loving yourself and just love your body now Loving ourselves is so important. I can talk hours on this topic. It's so important to us. Um, if you hate your body or yourself or you tell your body constantly that, you know, that look at me, look how I'm looking, your body will not work with you to lose weight or get healthy or, you know, or just um, be vibrant um, and not to not to mention that you know the constant uh, battle with yourself the exhausting um you know i used to do this i a, a lot i was very hard on myself and it just it makes you tired to to not love your body and go out and and you see other people you see other women and you compare yourself to other women um you know and I think when you start showing love and accept, acceptance to your body, um, it has so many energizing effects. Um, loving yourself also means for me uh, respecting your body, respecting your body where you are now. Now, I call loving ourselves also the miracle cure. So when we start loving ourselves, magic starts to happen in our body, our heart and our soul. And you know, when I started working on myself, I just felt all those things came together. Now I want to give you a few ways. Uh, I get this question a lot. People, clients asking me, how do I start loving myself? I mean, it's easy to tell somebody to love yourself, but how do you start loving yourself. So I have a few tools that I want to give to you today on how you can start loving yourself just a little bit each day. Now my number one is um, get to know yourself. You know, um, it's impossible to love yourself if you don't even know yourself. You know, get to know yourself by looking at what you do, value yourself, uh, practice a new hobby, see what you love uh, doing and just, you know, um, start to know yourself my number two is write two things down or three things or even four things down that you love about yourself um it could be your smile it could be your body it could be your hair it can be your personality you know um many people find this difficult to do to write something down that they are really loving about themselves but just start if it's just one thing just start writing that down as well now my next one is don't compare yourself to other people or to other women um and i did this quite a lot you know when i was when i was struggling to love myself i always looked at other women and i compared myself to them um just be your true self because you are unique in so many ways so just be your true self you are so unique my next one is forgive yourself um and you know, sometimes we hold on to bigger regrets or the past, um, you know, so s start forgiving yourself, you know, um, you did the best you could do in the, in the past and you are here now and, you know, start forgiving yourself. My next one is um, practice gratitude and this is a very important one. Uh, every night or every morning write three things down that you are grateful for um you can also write things down that you are grateful for for your body um you know what your body did for you today um just write three things down that you're grateful for also add sticky notes all throughout your house house um and write positive affirmations on there and you know 
write you can write like i love myself or you are beautiful you are worthy um and you know everywhere you go you see that sticky notes and i tell you it does make a big difference just to start loving yourself as well the next one is write a love letter to yourself this is a very difficult thing to do but if you start writing a letter to yourself you know just like you are, are writing a letter to your loved one um just put it down in words if it's just like four sentences it's fine but just start re writing that letter to your body um and thank your body for doing things for you you know and you know um just if you it's like a love letter to your body my next one is be kind to yourself um you know, sometimes we talk to ourselves like, you know, look at me, look at how you're doing, what did you eat this, you know, things like that. And I love this saying, and it is talk to yourself like you, uh, like you talk to a loved one. And this is so true. You know, talk to yourself with compassion and with respect. Um, and that is also working towards you know, loving yourself as well. Now, remember that loving our bodies and just ourselves, it's not a switch that you can just put on and off. Um, every small effort every day will get you closer, you know, to loving your body. Now, I also want to do uh, EFT tapping on self-love today. Um, if you're not familiar with EFT tapping. EFT tapping is where we, uh, uh, it's more like, it's much like acupuncture, but we don't use needles. We tap on our energy points on our body and we usually do EFT tapping, um, you know, if you have a negative energy that you, uh, you know, want to tap on. Um, I, the way I explain EFT tapping our bodies and you know um we just keep it there and when we start tapping we tap on all those energy blocks you know all that negative energy that block uh block that emotion so um let's do some eft tapping on self-love so as you can sit in a relaxed position um and just just take a few deep breaths in and out and another deep breath in and out okay so I'll, I'm going to start um, we're going to start with the karate we call this the karate chop um, and I will say the affirmation and then you can I will wait a little bit and then you, you can say it after me um, first thing that we are going to look at is from a scale from one to ten how much do you love yourself right now so a ten is uh you don't really love yourself uh one is i love myself just the way i am um and you know i don't want to change anything so uh sit with your um you, you know your scale from one to ten and um, if it's a five it means you know you can still do the tapping and you can work towards getting to a zero. So the first thing is, like I said, the karate chop. And we're going to say, even though I don't love myself, I choose to love and accept myself. Okay, even though it is so hard to love myself. I don't feel like I deserve it. I love and accept this feeling. Even though they say you need to love yourself before you can love someone else. It is hard to really love and accept myself. OK, 
okay we're going to the upper brow brow and it's hard to love myself side of my eye I've made a lot of mistakes in my life under your eyes certain people have said and done things that make me feel not lovable I hold on to guilt and shame from the past I have done things that made me feel unworthy of love. Okay, we're going on the collarbone. I feel like I need others approval. And then, oh, maybe I can start, maybe I can start showing myself some compassion. I begin to love and accept myself. I'm choosing to let go of all the resistance of loving myself. I accept myself as I am. I'm worthy of love. I accept myself as I am. I start loving myself. It is safe to start loving myself. I feel strong and confident. I stand in a new energy. And I feel love filling my whole body. Okay, take a deep breath in and out. And then we can do a tapping on I'm worthy. I love myself. 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 Okay, you can take a deep breath in. And out. So when you did this tapping, you can go back and you can see what is your level like now. Say your level is a five from a 10 to a five. You can do another round of the EFT tapping and just sit and see what emotion is coming up for you, um, you know, and start tapping on that emotion. And you can do this, you know, um, a few times so that you can get to a one or a zero. Now, um, EFT tapping is very good for you as well, you know, um, especially for everything, um, especially for emotional eating, uh, loving yourself, um, you know, uh, self beliefs, body image and all that. So really try to, you know, do a, a little bit of EFT tapping on all those topics and you will see such a huge difference just to you know, um, see a difference. Um, I was scared of tapping, EFT tapping in the beginning because I thought this is weird because, you know, when you have a headache, you go and you drink 
um, a few pills and or aspirin and you know your headache goes away with tapping you can't see you know it's something that you can't see and but people are very skeptical about tapping but it you know tapping really works uh, it really works very very well um, especially when you have a negative uh, emotion or a negative energy that you want to um, you, need, you want to release you can do um, EFT tapping on that as well now if uh, if you in my description box I have my uh, free guide on some, my self-love guide that you can go and you can go download it on there um, and it was fantastic to be here and just share, you know, my story and share about self-love and, you know, um, how you can start loving yourself. And remember, you know, self-love doesn't come overnight. Like I said, it's not a switch that you put on and off and, you know, um, and you tomorrow you wake up, you're going to love yourself. Just, you know, I hope this tools helped you to uh, start loving yourself a little bit each day. Um, it was a pleasure to be here and um, I will see you in the group.